Hey everyone, welcome to Game Builder Garage. Today on our first lesson, we're going to be teaching you how to do a first person camera. Really simple this one. Great video to kick things off on the tutorials for Game Builder Garage. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing as we teach you right from the basics all the way to advanced programming in this game. Let's go. Here we go. So diving into the first person camera, you can see now I'm moving left and right here with the right stick. Move up and down, left and right, and then we can do the walking around with the left stick. So this is acting exactly like a first person shooter or maybe a first person action game. So what we're going to do, go into programming. Now you can see it's pretty straightforward this. We'll zoom in a bit. So we've got our person. Now our person is just the standard person that you put down and now you can move them forward, back and left and right. Now what you want to do for the forward and back, you want to use your left stick up and down and your left stick left and right. So that will move your character forwards, backwards, left and right. And that'll all be done with the left stick. Now what you want to do is you want to attach a camera. So you've got these little sections here that you can attach the two nodons together. So you attach the person node on to the camera node on, so they become linked. Now, with your right stick, the left and right moves horizontal, so that moves the camera left and right. And then your right stick up and down moves the camera up and down. Now, they are both linked. If you go into the settings here, you've, you've got the tracking rate. Now, that is the speed and the field of view. So if I if I change the field of view, this will this will this will look really crazy now. If I change the view all the way up to there, and we close this, and we press play. Maybe it won't look so bad because we haven't got much on. But the the field of view is almost 180 degrees. Now, again, if we go into it and change the field of view all the way down to 10 then it's it's going to look absolutely crazy yeah you can see there see when you look down the floor looks a complete mess also the camera is very sensitive now so depending on what you're going to be doing you're going to be changing these now as we get more advanced into this you'll be able to implement this as a scope so say you've got a sniper rifle and you're making a first person shooter when you go into the scope you want to change the field of view and the zoom and you can do that we'll explain that later on but for now we've just got the basics of the first person shooter this game is so powerful there's so much you can do so let's get that back to about 90 there we go there's all sorts of different things that you can do as well here, but basically that is is moving how far back and forwards and uh, the rotation offset. But what you want is you want the camera in the middle of the person. You want it right in the center. Now also what we do need to do is we need to go into the settings of the person and we may need to change them invisible. Because if we put them visible now, see that little glitch then so you're looking <laughs> you're you're in the middle of the person and you don't want to be able to see the person as you move the camera see there we're looking up so we're right in the center of the person so you want to be hiding the person and to do that settings make them invisible okay so there we have it guys, that's the first tutorial, first lesson for how to make a first person camera in Game Builder Garage. Hit the subscribe button if you found this useful, leave a comment down below if you've found it useful or if you want to see any other tips, tricks or ideas. We've also got a good challenge coming up in a few months but let's just get the basics learnt first and then we'll dive into the challenge, it's going to be awesome. 
Hope you've enjoyed it. See you next time.